Welcome to Good Mythical More, the last one of season 24. Don't let's, cry. Let's get some, I'm not going Don't to. Cry. Because next week we're doing we're doing some retrospectives, we're doing some marathons. But if you wanted to cry, it's you could. It's gonna be fresh content. I'd support you. We're gonna bring in the crew, we're gonna talk about um, the things that are constantly on their mind. Just like uh, the Roman Empire for uh, a lot of who? Uh, a lot of people. Just a lot, a of people. lot of people? Yeah. Okay. But first, a random disturbing fact. Okay. An early form of contraception once included soaking dried beaver testicles in a strong alcohol solution and drinking it. Dried beaver testicles? So you're... So... What? The practice dates back to the 16th century in Canada when women sought to prevent... Con Conception, but soaking dried beaver testicles in a concentrated solution of alcohol and then deeply drinking the resulting infuse. Right, because if you no record of its effectiveness. If you drink beaver testicles right before you have sex, no one wants to have sex with you. That's how it works. <laughs> okay. So what have you been drinking? Al beaver uh, testicle infused alcohol? Why? Well, yes. Okay. Well, I'm moving on. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of which, let's bring in our crew. Let's bring in our beaver testicles. What do you What do you mean? Speaking of which, I don't know. I was just making a segue. Just making a segue for Jasmine. That was so gross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so gross. Carney and Megan. And Hello. 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 Hey, Hello. Hello. All right, guys. Don't be shy. So I've certainly seen uh, ever since. Scooch people, on up here, Michaela. Ever since people started asking, uh, and I think it started as we've discussed before on this show. It started with. Uh, a lot of women asking their uh, male partners, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Many of them said more often than you would think. Okay, yeah. And then, of course, that didn't make sense to, to everyone. But then my Roman Empire has become whatever it is that is sort of your thing, right? Okay. Your thing that is on your heart, on your mind, something you really care deeply about. Mm -hmm. It's just constantly lurking in the back of your brain. Yeah, pretty much. Twenty four seven. Okay, mm -hmm. and we have, we have these cards here. Oh, we have cards. Oh, losing my fifth grade spelling bee. Oh, <laughs> I can relate to this. I can relate to this too. I know my word. Me too. I lost. Um, I know my word, not yours. I lost the spelling bee in fifth grade over a word that I definitely knew how to spell. It haunts me every day. We think it was. You think it was fifth grade. I think it was fourth grade for us. Uh, Could have been fifth grade. We were in the auditorium. Yeah. Multiple classes had come to it. We were in the Bowie Creek Auditorium. Mm hmm And my word was extraordinary. Uh -huh. okay. And I was bump fuzzled, <laughs> which I could spell. <laughs> so you didn't know it was extraordinary? When I sat down and uh, it was revealed how it was spelled, that it was extraordinary, I was just like, not only was I mad at myself, then I was just embarrassed. Yeah. And then just this deep embarrassment overtook me. I was like, oh, of course everyone knows how to spell extraordinary because it's just extraordinary. Yeah, you look like an idiot. Yeah, dude. I remember that. What was your word? Fruition. Oh. That was harder. But if I would have asked mm -hmm. for the definition, I could have figured it out. What's the definition? Or the fruition? origin. Yeah, like fruit. I'm asking you like right now. Like for something to, the, it's like, the fruiting of uh, a situation. Yeah, yeah. It's the result of something. Yeah. Like the fruit on a tree. Mm -hmm. exactly. So this is a person who lost the Anybody fifth grade try spelling it? bee. Fruition? Yeah. F R U I T I O N. See, because you knew it was fruit, because I told you, but that's why I made it easy <laughs> for you. Um, but I feel for whoever this yeah. is. So this person is still thinking about it. Mm hmm. Who struggles with shame? <laughs> a, perfor a performer, a performer, a perfectionist, a speller, a someone, speller. Someone who is maybe a, a writer. Someone who really thinks about their spelling, like they take pride in their spelling, like a writer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Could have been Carney though. Carney. He has written. Stuff. I write. You, st been. you started here as 
Yeah. A writer. I'm yeah. not going to say just a writer. Because some people are still just writers. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's going to go with Megan for now. Megan's okay. an extraordinary writer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. But see, when you say it like that, are her, only, uh, have her oh. skills come to fruition? I think she's got potential that she's still got yet. Wait a second. No, she's great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> then we've got my undiagnosed IBS. Ooh, I can spell that. <laughs> IBS. <Undiagnosed? laughs> every day, I wonder why my poop schedule. I, every day, I wonder what my poop schedule is going to be, and every day I'm surprised. Oh. Mm, okay, yeah, that's a. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty. I have pretty regular. I have a, I have some special moments carved out in my day. Do you do a little whittling while you? Because uh, I've been thinking about putting a little no, whittling. That's going to keep you on the kick. throne too long. It's got to be yeah, something quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, who who wants to talk about their poops? This feels like it might be a carny. Carney will talk about anything. <laughs> Carney will talk about anything, but Carney doesn't care. <laughs> Carney, <laughs> Carney just like it's like, oh, there's a bus. Let me slide underneath it. Yeah, that's care. your vibe. I don't yeah. care. Like, right. You don't care. I don't, I don't care. People right. think what they're going to think of me. Right. You're an extraordinary pooper. Thank you. Yeah, you're time travel. <laughs> Every day I think about time travel. Every day? Every day. In Every some form. day. The idea that I can't ever know how the earth actually looked when dinosaurs were here or mm. how it all will end mm. drives me mad. Wishing I could do things like that is an itch I'll always be scratching. Wow, someone who's thinking about time travel and really wants to see the world end. <laughs> we're okay. Beginning. Yeah, or, or begin. begin. This is like a, like with a sci-fi aesthetic, maybe with like planets tattooed on our left arm. <laughs> I have cats. <laughs> oh, I have cats. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 not me. <laughs> sci-fi aesthetic. I've never heard Michaela talk about. Michaela. Hey. <laughs> what dinosaurs? <laughs> were like you you've never thought about what dinosaurs no i've never were. heard michaela talk about this i haven't either it was her she's examples, thinking about it every day her examples were were weird if not a little child let me oh say that like, say, say i that wonder louder. what dinosaurs were like well it says what the earth actually looked like when dinosaurs were here oh that's I, different I, that I wasn't child <laughs> just you know i think the, no. i think the plants were just bigger <laughs> seen, right. That, that was the only difference. Yeah. That was the only difference. Yeah, big, big plants. Can, can I corner. explain mm -hmm. myself here? Yes, I'm saying I'm saying things that are harsh. It's a strategy. I'm trying to get oh, a reaction. Okay, that's smart. out of somebody. That's smart. Mm. Mm. You know, it's a game. This is not. Yeah, yeah this, this isn't is his me. personality. <laughs> <laughs> I've t listen. I've taken a lot of heat um, this season, and can mm -hmm. I just take a moment? Oh, take a moment. Yeah. It's, I've taken a lot of yeah, heat this I'm season. I'm here for this. And it's, you know, we're 24 freaking seasons in, and here I am taking a lot of heat. Yeah. You can turn for it what? Out. For what? Yeah. For what you're doing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for what? For what you're doing. <laughs> exactly. Mm, wow. Just. But a strategy. Let it go. <laughs> Get strategy. over it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong. Yeah. It's my fault. Uh oh. You're right. Okay. But I've taken the note. Well. So I don't need to hear it anymore. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know what? Yeah. Turn over a new leaf. Oh, season really? 25. Oh, season 25. Yeah. What's the new leaf? Yeah. What's I'm on not, the other side of the no, leaf. No more harshness. Oh, really? Really? I mean, you had. Come on now. Uh, okay. You had your season. There were a few seasons there. Where it was, it was all what? about you and your meanness. Okay, what what season was that? I don't keep track because I don't care. <laughs> but come on, back me up on this. Yeah, there was that mean season I had. Like you took a lot of heat. I took a lot of heat. I was so mean. Hold on, I'm serious. Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I was. I was. I was, really, I was so mean. No, stay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right, this uh, is getting. Too, uh, this, this is getting fine. Yeah, I, re I remember that. Yeah, I think about it. It's my Roman Empire. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, he's not backing me up. But there was like, yeah. there were, there yeah, were. Yeah. It was more than a season. More than a season. It was a season in life. It was my. It mean was a season. whole season in life where it was just like, well, oh, Rhett's so mean. Yeah. And then you know what? You had to turn over. And then a new I leaf turned over something. a new leaf. Yep. Yeah. Well, I, I gotta poop. <laughs>
Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela. Okay. It is Michaela. And your childish um, thoughts. <laughs> the final fight scene in the last Twilight movie. Oh. Scene in the last Twilight movie where, spoiler alert, Carlisle, the dad, <laughs> no. gets his head ripped off by one of the Volturi members and why the movie makers made that choice. Yeah, why would they do that? <laughs> the dad got his head ripped off. This person thinks about this every single day. Every single day. Mm. Well, I mean, She's I mean, trying on for size for I don't Jasmine. Know, I, I feel like I, I could make sense for Jasmine. Okay. <laughs> sometimes sometimes I see that look on your face and I'm like, oh, she's definitely thinking about this somebody's head face. being ripped off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, is that what I look like all day? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Just sometimes. I, I really think, I can see Jasmine being the spelling bee too, but I liked the writerly thing that we came up with. But, um, okay. I think we should switch the two. Switch which two? Uh, Megan and Jasmine. The spelling bee and the twilight. But I don't have a rationale, and we did have a rationale. Who needs a rationale? Who needs it? Who needs it? Yeah. This is a, this final answer. You like answer. that? Final answer. Carney, you good to go? Poo-poo? Poo-poo? <laughs> <laughs> I know go, poo-poo. I... <laughs> it's the end of the season. I'm a little loopy. Uh, no, this is not me, though. Oh, oh, oh. No. Okay, oh, crap. Okay, okay. Yeah. Literally. So you're losing the spelling bee. That's what you deal with. I won my fourth grade spelling bee. So this is definitely allowed me. Oh, dang. We're, we're trying to give Carney everything. Yeah. Well, are you thinking about time travel? I do. Oh, he thinks about time travel. Okay, 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 okay. So we, now we got this. We got time travel right. Because of mistakes. Because <laughs> of mistakes. That you've made. No, I just, all the, for all the reasons I said here, I just, I want to get that. Sure. Undiagnosed IVS. <laughs> he was a writer. He was a writer. Um, okay, we'll go with this. Jasmine, IBS, undiagnosed, pooping all over the place. I don't I think I poop like once every three days. Okay, but that's undiagnosed IBS. That's un oh. That's not good. But I don't think about it. Okay. If I have it, I don't think about it. It must be, as, it must be like, hey. <laughs> hey, new leaf, man. <laughs> I was being, I was, I'm being concerned. <laughs> oh, okay. Tell us what you're going to say then. It must be like rock hard. Okay. <laughs> no, it's pretty smooth. Okay. <laughs> Once every three Sorry. days. I don't know if this is harsh or just inappropriate. Wait, this is not the game. This, this Tell us about your poop. This is your poop. <laughs> well, we gotta do match the crew to their poop next season. I think it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I pitched this. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I pitched the poop. Maybe that'll okay. tell you something about it. I'll send in my picture. Yeah, let's let's give this to Megan. She pitched it. I'm fucking. <laughs> IBS? Yeah, this is me. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. Just all over the times. Just, yeah, no. <laughs> I, I never know when it's going to happen, okay. and it's, it truly does surprise me every single day. Oh, yeah, I'm right. always thinking about it. It's I'm more like, fun that way. Do you have to run? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, so I have tummy aches all the time. I'm just constantly well, like, okay, this well, you need, well, to, well, you need to talk to somebody about that. Yeah, yeah no, you know, need to, I have several doctor's get appointments. Yeah, get yeah. Get oh, you do? I, I'm only confident saying undiagnosed because I'm on my way to a diagnosis. Thank okay, you. great. Yeah, okay. Great. Okay. okay. <laughs> great uh, you know what? I feel for you, Megan, and uh, I want you to get the care <laughs> that you need. That's perfect. And um, That's uh, it's important yeah, and yeah. to all of us. Don't look at me when you say that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Twilight. It's a funny scene. <laughs> oh. That line. <laughs> oh, it's dang. We were wrong. Hannah. This is the most wrong we've ever been. You lost your fifth grade spelling bee. I what did. a way to end. What was your word? It was croquet, but I spelled croquette. Oh, wow. what with two T's? Two T's and an E. Oh, and Ooh. I didn't want to embarrass it. I like said the word, I spelled it, and I was like. So you were right at you were back. right at one point. Yeah, you were oh, right. That's sure. why they make you repeat the word. That's why they make you repeat the so word. So you don't go like U E T and wait, yeah, you have yeah. to say the word. Mm. Oh. Yeah. But then you were like T 
And everyone e. went. Oh. There was a, oh. oh yeah. Did yeah. you guys yeah. win your spelling bees? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Did you really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, for reference, this was the Chicago Tribune spelling bee. Oh. So I won the one in my school. Oh, and then oh, I went oh. To yeah, I definitely. Okay. I lost so at Bowie's Creek at Extraordinary. Oh, okay. I never went on anything else. Didn't even make it to Dunn. Yeah, so my, my, my winning word was favorites. Like, it's the, it's oh. the easest freaking word a ever. Favorites. Could be hard. Yeah. Like plural of like favorites? Yeah. And the only you. reason I won is because the girl runner up didn't put the S on the end. That dummy. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because so. they were like, there's win. no way yeah, that they, it was favorites. Man. That's like when you get silver and then, like, the gold medalist. Like is exposed for doping like mm-hmm. six months later, yeah. mm-hmm. and then you get the gold, but yeah. nobody is there for it. That no one happened cares. to me at another time in life too. What? I ran for um, like ASB, like school, you know, government. Yeah, spirit commissioner. Spirit I, commissioner yeah, was yeah. doping, <laughs> <laughs> and I came in second. And then the person who won, like one day, just nobody ever heard from him again. They like moved out of town. What or did something. you do? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> it became a spirit. Really, really wanted that position. And so they were like, "Well, he he got second place. Give it to him." <laughs> oh, okay. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Time traveled back and warned them <laughs> that I they wish. were ghosts. Oh, so you but you're thinking about this quite a bit. You're thinking about dinosaurs and the world ending specific. I really want to know how it all ends. Yeah, I would love to be here for that. Wouldn't you? Oh yeah. No. Yeah. I really would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, unaffected by it. I don't care. Like, hovering outside of it. Yeah. I just want my distant relatives to, to be here for it. What? But you don't care to know how it all ends? No. Like, for them to What end. about how it all began? Which would you rather know? Uh, I'm not a big fan of either. I'm kind of really into what's happening right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's a little existential for me right now. I've already tried to turn over a new leaf. and. <laughs> Yeah, you do great. I'm doing. I'm done so much. Yeah, all right. So much work. Like the thing about seeing how it all ends, it could literally be like, you know, like slow and ugly. February of next year. Oh. <laughs> you know, or oh. or it could be like ten thousand, hundred, a million, billions of years from now. Yeah. And if it was mm-hmm. billions of years from now, it would be like you. It would be so crazy you couldn't even comprehend oh. what you were seeing. Yeah. The chance that that's the case that would be pretty awesome. Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's me. What about you guys? <laughs> Michaela, you think about this every day. Like, yeah. You, you, think, you see a guy getting his head ripped off for comedic... It was purpose. not, but first of all, <laughs> hold on. That was traumatizing. Okay, listen. I was 15, 16 years old okay. in the movie theater by myself because I used to go during the day when everybody was in school because I didn't like screaming teenage girls as a former screaming teenage girl. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I was in a movie. School? Yeah, my mom would. Everybody talks about my mom, or I always talk about my mom and my the bad parenting decisions she makes. Yeah, but she's a great mother. She's a great person. I love your mom. But she would pull me out of school when Twilight came out. Any new Twilight movie came out, so I could watch it during the day and not have to deal with (laughs) screaming teenage girls. Wow, yeah, everybody. And so I was in the thing because my mom didn't want to see this. (laughs) with me, she was like, I don't care about Twilight, screw it. And so I was in the theater alone by myself and the man's head got ripped off. And I'm in the theater alone just sobbing, (laughs) weeping. And you've never let go of this. On the ground, I've never let go of this. Even though it turned out to be like fake and a vision and like, It was a vision of the future. Double spoiler. Say what? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, the only way for you to deal with this is exposure therapy. We need to get that queued up. And we're going to make you sit and watch it. She watches in her mind every day. I do. Over and over. I do. Over and over again. Because why would they do that to little 15-year-old me? Think about me at 15 years old, just sobbing. Mm. I, am so so, I am so sorry for you. Yeah. Thank you. It explains a lot. I mean... <laughs> I what? feel for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank that was great. Mm-hmm. Do you really though? Are you saving that for season 2015? 20, 25. 25. Yeah. yeah. Um, Do you really right now at this moment? Mm. Why? Are you, yeah. Do you? Do you? You're pressing me. Do you really want to know the answer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you lie about this too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This would be a good cliffhanger to end the season. <laughs> the Mythical Cookbook features fan favorite dishes from GMM and Mythical Kitchen and tons of completely new original recipes. Pre-order it now at mythical.com slash cookbook.